Martin, I just found a car on Facebook Marketplace, mate. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. But here's but the thing. Have, we have cars. Yeah. Yeah, but remember we had the rule, whatever goes out, something else is allowed to come in. Oh, this Lotus is, true. is gone. That is the rule. Um, Martin, I rule. found this car here. Yeah. That okay, for starters it's this. It hey, is but, but but Yeah, no no, just just hang with me, Martin. Look at but this. But I have questions. just no, no questions. Oh, no questions. Look at the price. Now that is one yeah? that is one third of the price of all of the others that are in the country. Like yeah. that is one third of the price. You know that expression? Now, if, if it's, it's too, too good, good to, to be true, true probably then buy is. it. Anyway, I messaged this person and said, is this car still available? And he's like, yes, I don't know why, because it's been for sale for a week and at that price, that's just crazy. So if no one's bought it at that price and it's for sale for a week, what is wrong with it? Well, we just haven't got there yet. Anyway, so we're going now. So I've just messaged what? him and said, we're going. So we're what on our way. Gonna... What? Are we going to work on my thing? No, no. So we're going down to um, we're going down to Cogera, Martin. All right. All right. Um, do you want me to tell you a little bit about this car? Ninety-five percent of the work's been done. Just a few fiddly bits. Most of the parts are in photos. Just needs a few little plastics. My loss is your gain. Twenty and, twenty grand worth of value and open to swaps. I'm not swapping anything <laughs> for that. Nothing. Anyway, I wouldn't even swap you for that. Oh, I mean, what? Hang on. I would. I wouldn't swap you for anything, especially that. Okay. <laughs> Let's go, Martin. <laughs> right. Let's go. Right. Now, what the what the person who's selling it, what they don't know yet, because they haven't seen this video yet, that they they probably will, is that like we are going to buy this car because right. even at that asking price, like. It doesn't matter. Actually, it does matter what's wrong with it. We need to go and have a look at it. What if we? it's got rod knock like all the other cars? Yeah, well, then join the family, mate. <laughs> um, we're going to go and buy. And in advance, I actually do have our new Mighty Car Mods wristy lanyard. This here is like our premium lanyard with a little leather embossed little awesomeness on the end. So I'm going to buy the car. I'm going to stick the key on that. And then we're going to bring it back to the shed and then find out exactly what's wrong with it. Anyway, um, what are you doing, mate? Are we going? Yeah, let's go. I'm setting up cameras for my uh, animal husbandry course. Okay. I want to record it. When it gives birth, dude, if you put the right GoPro on a tripod, you can... Okay, all right. Board. Let's go, man. Come on. All right, I have my wallet and I'm not afraid to use it, even though I am going to have to borrow some money from you, please, mum. What? Let's go, mate. Come on. I don't have that much money. Let's go. Didn't you sell the Lotus? Yeah. What'd you buy with it? Off to buy a car, off to buy a car, off to buy, off to buy, off to buy a car in my RS3. <laughs> so we are on our way to Cogera. Cogera is a suburb kind of down south past our main airport here. Now, a couple of little mysteries already have reared their heads, Martin. Hey, funny you say rear your heads because that's where I was born, in Cogra. Was it really? Yeah, man. St. George Hospital, Cogra. I, I did not know that, Martin. Yeah, I reared my head there, dude. Wow. Yeah. Is that that's... what that expression means, rear their head? Does it mean born? I don't know, man. Rear their head, shown? I don't know, man. I never really thought about that. Um, I'm just thinking about my emu farm. No, no, that's, that's cool. Um, so this car is advertised on Facebook Marketplace and it looks like it's for sale from an individual. Can I show you something? Is. But... I am still blocked, people. I I'm contacted... Blocked. Can't. Marty, I don't know why you can't, but Did you means... get me blocked so that I wouldn't buy any more shit No, of course not. How? I don't even know how you'd do that. Anyway, look at this Kia Carnival here. Look at him. See it right. The five cell. Oh. Uh, anyway, right. so, so I basically sent him a message and I went, call, what's the address? He told me what the address was. I put the address into Google. Wait, I know the answer. I know it's, it's going to be. It is either a wrecking yard or a dealership. Yes. How do you know? Because it's a dealership. <laughs> but then I sent him to be true. But then I sent him back a message and I go, oh, that's a dealer. And then what do you think he wrote back and oh, said? Oh, he said, mate, I know this because I've had it so many times. Oh, I, I normally sell cars as a dealer with a dealer license. Yes. But this yeah. one's my own car. That's what he said. He said, this is my personal Dude, car. Black Chops. How did you know? Because it's happened to me with Black Chops. So are we about to get ripped? No. He's saving... He's doing something. I don't know what he's doing, but Black Chops was the same thing. It was that. It was that a dealer. I'm like, cool. I'll take it. Here's some money. Oh, I'm just going to go transfer it to my own name and then buy it off me. Okay. I don't know. I All don't right. know. All I know is this car's asking price 
at, at the moment, these cars are during these crazy times, thirty to forty thousand dollars. Easy. This one's eleven. Eleven thousand dollars. Bargain. If it works. Even if you look for the cheapest one in Australia, the cheapest one I could find of anything similar to it is twenty thousand dollars. Yeah. And that's for one that's way older than this. Man, that's a lot of car for eleven grand. Well. Is it? I mean, look, we haven't even got there yet, mate. Well, but I'm. I feel like we're gonna get scammed. Yeah, of course we are. But I'm of kind of we are. okay Someone with is it. gonna get scammed. Someone. No, this is not a win-win situation. No. This is a win-lose situation. Yeah. It's how much we lose and whether that's worth it or not. Right. You know what I mean? Because when there's a nice picture of a car and then the next picture is a box with parts in it. Oh. Uh. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And bits missing. Anyway, Martin, this is this is um this is exciting though, isn't it? Yeah. And we both like these cars. I feel like my emu farm's gonna be a better investment than this car. Well, it's it's well, how many smiles do you get from an emu though, mate? That's the question. You get kicked in the balls pretty hard, ask me how I know. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh. Did, I told you about that guy that had to get his yeah, you did. bits reconstructed. Yeah. From the anus to the tip, Oof. all the way down, because it exploded Stitched after the ball up. kicked it. Yeah, oh, because a ball kicked. Yeah, emus don't kick it, as yeah. hard as balls. That was up in like northern, kick, far yeah. north Queensland, and, and exploded. And one of the testicles uh, compressed and exploded, and the other one actually was removed, as in uni ball. Epic. Anyway, speaking of things that explode, let's go look yeah, at this yeah, car. Yeah, let's go and look at this car. I'm a little bit embarrassed, really. Are you? Why? Well, I don't know, because we haven't told the people yet why I would even be interested in this car. I know why you're interested in this car. <laughs> because I already had one. Exactly. It's like your year 11 girlfriend or something and she was totally <laughs> awesome, but you, you dumped her because <laughs> you just were too cool for school. And then, you know, 10 years later, you see her again, you're like, oh shit. So then you go and date her sister. <laughs> is that what it's like? Yeah, except um, her sister's really cheap oh. for some reason. Um, her sister's had some panel damage. And, and, and is like, here's my home address, but when I'm putting in that address, it's actually a massage parlor. Oh, right. Do you know what right. I mean? Yeah. Um, anyway, I just, um, yeah, I've already had one of these cars. And I never admitted to anyone on the internet that I sold it. So I think everyone still thinks I own it. Oh, do they? Yeah, we never, we never, I don't think we ever told anyone that I got rid of it. Oh, you did. Why'd you get rid of it? I, don't I, don't, I can't work it I out. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's one of those silly things. Usually it's Marty trying to sell my stuff. It's true. He sold my motorbike I recently. Did. <laughs> Actually sold I my motorbike. I thought you wanted to sell it. And Marty thought for some reason, because we, we own a lot of stuff together, he, he seemed to remember that he actually owned my motorbike. We're almost there. We're on the Princess Highway, heading south. We're 300 there. meters away, Martin. So it looks like it's just past this turn off. Where the car wash is. On the left. That's a car wash. Oh yeah? Oh, is there, oh, car sales, there it is. Where is it, which one? After the car wash, dude. Oh, I see. Cash for scrap? No, no, cash for, cash for cars. Is this us in here? Yep, this is it. Oh, dude, oh my God, are you serious? Look at it. No, no. Look at it. No, no, Martin, it is that BRZ just there. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, oh, it's convertible. No, take that back. Mad, 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 mad. Oh, boot full of parts. Awesome. Yep. That's Good. always promising. So, these are the plastics oh, and stuff. Subs. And oh, there's you. All the clips and that's it's pretty good. That is pretty good actually. I hope that comes with it. Well, it does. I reckon, Mum. All the parts that a lot of plastics. That is a lot of plastics. Yeah, I don't remember looks, when we um? None of it looks smashed up. Maybe this is. Oh, is that a TS? Is that a special kind Isn't of BRZ? Isn't slightly fancy? I think, one? The, I think the TS is a fancy one. Yeah, and it's got the STI wheels. I don't think it's like an STI, but it's... If it is that one, and it's a late 15 build, which makes it an MY16, I this believe. This is 16, yeah. Yep. Yeah. 
November 15. <coughs> Looks really clean. Here. So yeah, this all looks different colours, like clearly that's the first thing you look for. Yes. You know, that's that's normal, but that's like obviously been painted. That's a different colour to that. You can sort of see also like pick the bolts. Yes. Witness marks, like little bits of paint and stuff. Yep. But again, if it runs and drives and does BRZ things. Yeah, I mean it looks looks clean for a crashed car. It's not that old, it's five years old. Totally factory. I wonder if it's even got like an air filter on it. A performance it's air filter. Up. Yeah, it's got a, yeah, no, it's got like an Cat aftermarket. Yeah. Pretty standard, right, people yeah. doing them. Tires on it are good. Oh, dude, look, what Pilot Sport 4s. Oh, Pilot Sport 4s? I thought I recognised the tread pattern. Wouldn't just these wheels and tires be worth a couple of grand? Yeah, they're the good, they're the fancy ones. Slightly yeah, fancier fine. factory ones. What's your vibe? I wonder I mean, if both sides have been painted. I'm I mean, not... it, it says that the roof was damaged as well. Oh, right, um, I'll yeah. find the actual report. Um, Dude, you need to just buy this thing. You reckon? You need to buy it. It's so good. Like, who cares? Like, well, look at it. <coughs> uh, like, it doesn't look obviously smashed. Because you can also unbolt these front, whole front ends. So sometimes it's just unbolt it, strain it up, and go again. Yeah. But who knows? I mean, like someone's put the effort into repairing it, and that's the other thing. If it has been crashed, but someone's repaired it properly, that's not actually the end of the world. Yeah. So the damage it had was um, passenger front, heavy driver front, heavy roof, light airbag front. So the airbag's gone off. Seatbelt pretension has gone off. So, right. um, which is probably why it's been written off in terms of just registrable registrability. Yeah, but but can can be. So it's not a stat write off. It's a repairable write off. So, um, but I think because it was written off in Queensland, it would have to go back to Queensland. Um, so I gotta we gotta work out. out how we do that. Missing your washers. It's missing the actual stick from the washers. So that's yep. obviously. But if you look down the side of it, man, it's smooth, straight. It's really straight. I wonder how much got painted. I mean, the bar, you can see a difference in colour here. Yeah, sometimes that's the difference between plastic and metal, though, isn't it? But yeah, that's a little yellower and than that. That just doesn't fit properly. Yeah. But that could be. I mean, remember putting the bar on the old one? Yes. It was a bit tricky. Yeah. But same thing, like the front. That either means the front's out of shape or that's like sometimes they can be aftermarket bars that don't fit right. Yeah, yeah. Like on the Civic. Yeah. It's really clean. I guess the 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 gamble really is is that we have to assume based on the legislation which I believe changed in New South Wales in 2011 basically what was happening is that um, any cars that were flood damaged or hail damaged up in Queensland people were buying them and then using their VINs to rebirth stolen cars down in Sydney so in 2011 um, uh, New South Wales legislated that they changed that rule that you couldn't um, register um, repairable write-offs in New South Wales uh, unless they'd already been registered in the other state so potentially i mean we'll have to investigate this but potentially this is going to have to be shipped to queensland repairs checked registered there and then i believe you can have it back here within 12 months as long as it's checked by a specific station to make sure all the repairs are done properly that said that's going to be why it's cheap isn't it it could be an education to go look tow truck there and back two thousand dollars workshop up there a few thousand dollars five or six grand i mean that's getting this closer to 16 17 grand you can get an 86 for 20 grand at the moment mm. so it's a matter of whether people want to spend the time for me though i think it's an it's it's an interesting education um but I'm not paying asking price because I don't pay asking price for shit. Doesn't make any knocking noises or anything. The air conditioning is icy. So yeah, if it's had a front end, that means they've bothered to regas it. 
Looks really clean, man. It's not old enough to be feral yet, is it? Yeah. Um, we can't drive it is the only thing, but should we just take a punt on it? Yep. That's got a crazy short shift up. Like, look at this, it? look how short it is. Um, I've only got five grand though, so can I, can I borrow the rest off you? Is that all right? <laughs> Is that alright? What do I get? Friendship and love, man! Kebab. For money. Kebabs. For money, yeah, we'll go for kebabs. You're afterwards. paying for the kebabs. Do you have another 20 bucks for kebabs though? Yeah. Uh, what day is it today? So you don't actually need five grand, you need 4,980. What day is it? Monday. I'll pay you back on Sunday night. <laughs> is that alright? <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's go and have a chat. As, as it is in its standard thing, and we can go back and forth, it's like, I would offer you $9,000 to take it, like now. Um, and just pay you entirely and, and go. Just take the risk on the whole region. Well, well, hopefully he comes through with the, the goods. Because the thing is, with the receipts, with a lot, with a bit of time and money, it can be a registered. But without those, it's actually not worth that because it's a track car then. So they're in there cutting a deal. I think they're going to work it out, and I think it's going to be cheap. The car for, does fall into this weird sort of grey area of the car's been repaired. Obviously, been repaired really well. Obviously, still does everything you need a BRZ to do. But in terms of actually registering it and street driving it. It's kind of grey depending on receipts from panel repairs, insurance situations, compulsory third party registration. The rules are a bit different state to state in Australia as well. So there's issues that come in, into play with that. That stuff we're not sure of and that stuff we can't actually confirm. And that is why the car is cheap. Because if it was 10 grand and you could rego it, it would be gone within minutes. Um, so really what we're, we're taking the risk that we may not be able to register it, but at the end of the day, that's not a complete deal breaker. We should still make a mad BRZ that's mad on the track. It just means you're towing it or trailering it there and back. But uh, yeah, overall, really nice dude that's run the joint. He's been totally open and transparent about that and understands why he's not selling this car for 30 grand, which is what a stock registered one would go for in the current market. Do you want to give me your details and I'll just transfer it over to you straight away? All right, so we just uh, negotiated the price. Uh, asking price was $11,500. Uh, he'd already been offered $10,000, but that was from someone interstate. Um, I said, I'll give you nine grand right now. And he was like, no. Um, and then I was like, what number do we need to get it done? And he just said, look, nine and a half, and we'll do it. And I went, boom, transferred the money. Nine and a half grand, dude. Nine and a half grand. I think that's an absolute bargain. Yeah, you um, well. And there it is. We've got our new, new, there it is. Hopefully a, um, hopefully a mad, car. look, and I've, dri I've driven it four meters. And most importantly, a mad project. A mad project. Do some, something different on it, it'll be sick. Yeah, exactly. And look, worst case scenario, it's a track car, which still for the money is okay. At the auctions, crashed BRZs. $7,000, a crash VRZ. So we paid two and a half more than that for a car that I've driven three meters in forward and reverse. If nothing else, a mad track car. Good shell. Um, a, a, good, a good project, a good nugget to have. I've been looking for something a bit more nuggety and- Something you can skid. You know, something we can skid in, so. Fantastic. Well, I'll yeah. give the man the money and let's get out of here. Yeah, let's do it. I'll just leave that there. And um, and do you want me to give you the address now of where it's going? Um, I'll text you right now. Thanks mate, cheers. Okay, bye, bye. Got a tow truck? Cool, got a tow truck. He's coming now, just got to send in the address. Uh, he's going to pick it up, bring it up. That's how you buy a car. Job done. He was cool. Yeah, he was way more relaxed than I thought, actually. When you kind of think of a, a car yard down here, it's kind of, I don't know, I didn't have high hopes for it. But... <laughs> um, great, so yeah, got a track car again. Yeah, got some real drive, you can skid. Not quite a Lotus, but also... Man. Nine and a half grand. You love well, these actually things. five grand. You love these things. It's okay to admit it. I know you love them. They know you love them. What? BRZs? Yeah, they're mad. Yeah, they're awesome. Especially I wish I'd never purpose. sold mine. Especially for that purpose. For tracks, for doing skid pans like we did in the E30 that time. Like That was mad fun. Yes. And I was even saying at that night, this would be even more fun in something like a modern-y BRZ, you know, yes. 15 whatever, something that's sort of like made to slide around. And that's the thing, like, nobody there was in like nice S13s because yeah. I was like going, well, I've still got guys, but they were very risking there. I've, I've still got to get my 180SX and get yeah. it going again. That project is still happening. But I was yeah. like, <clears throat> do you do that up, make it nice, and it's worth 30 or 40 grand and then take it to a drift day? I don't know. Yeah. But a BRZ for nine grand, of which I only paid five of. Thanks, mate. Man. Happy days. People were skidding those S13s back in the day because they were like this car now. Yes, that's, that's right. It's that's just right. because you could get them, 
you know, with with grey area registrability and you know, I mean you remember that's what it was like. Yes. For a while then it's like five grand, go skid it if you hit a wall, oh well, go buy another one for five grand. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's one of the concerns with driving, whether it's M3s, yeah. RS3s, yeah. low tie, you know, at the track for maybe people like you and me that don't run IT companies or law firms, mm. it's like it's a big deal if you run into a wall. Well, it is, yeah. yeah. And you don't want to take a classic off the road. I mean, that's why Black Chops has sort of like development sort of basically done for now. Does it, you know, we asked at the time, does it need a thousand horsepower? And people are like, yeah, it doesn't. Well, no, it doesn't. Yeah, because that's, a thousand just, that's just internet talk that is, though. That is either baking tires, breaking stuff or hitting a wall. And I don't want to do any of those things. Yeah. Well, I want to back tires. So I can do that with 500 horsepower at the engine. Yeah. Cool, man. Well, yeah, that was a very good result this morning. Kebab Super time. efficient. Uh, kebab time. And now um, we are on our way to Greenacre now, mate. Uh, which Why? is near Tallora. Why? Um, well, there's a. Um, oh, you know. no. Don't. I know that look. <laughs> I know that look. Are you looking. You just. Uh, so we're on our way to a. You know car what's at Greenacre? A lot of car dealerships and a lot of car yards. We're, we're on our way oh to a car God. dealership uh, in oh Greenacre. God. And um, so come with us. I will try and get a kebab oh, on the way. Dude, if the tables were turned and I was driving and I'd done today what you were doing, you would be seriously worried. Yeah, I would, because you, you've got to move some cars out before you can move some cars in, man. I can't. I've got too many I've been bad ones. BRZ gone. Goldfire gone. Lotus gone. Yeah, okay. I got some spending money. I mean, I don't. Well, what? You, you borrowed money off me, so potentially not. But, okay, I get where you're coming <laughs> from. But if I... I can't get any, anything new because I've got too many mad projects to finish. You do. That's actually okay. King's Corner Kebabs. Very well known in this part of the world, King's Corner Kebabs. I really hope it's open. Some of these kebab shops only operate at night when people get hungry after their big nights out. Yes. Let's check some reviews on their website. We've got 194 ratings. Two days ago, five. Great P-Day. We haven't been able to find anything that compares. We've been visiting this shop for 20 years, made to order, cooked fresh. They do pizza, burgers, chips and salad. We'll be back again. Five stars, five stars. They do have a one star because they, I don't know, don't have peri-peri sauce or something. I don't know why they would have peri-peri sauce. How are you, mate? Oh, mate? We've heard amazing things about your shop. So Muhammad has been uh, running this place for about 12 years. Uh, I've never been here before, but I have heard about it. And he is like, look at, look at what is going on over there. Muhammad is cooking up some incredible kebabs. And no doubt a lot of you will probably want to come down here and try it out. Come get one. That's all right. You're happy for some people to come down and try it out? Nice. Yeah. Yum. It's got to pay it forward. It's good, it's good to have a treat sometimes, you know. Oh, so nice. yeah, I'll fix up this too. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. Oh, stop it. Is that one or two? That's one. Yes. That's one for you. Thank you. Yes. Great to meet you. Thank you very much. Thank you, See you later. Thanks for coming. Thank you, mate, very much. I think we need to rephrase the unwrapping your banana to unwrapping your kebab. Look at that, dude. It's like one of the chunkiest ones I've ever seen in my life. He hooked us up. He hooked us up. Oh, <laughs> yes. It's going to be in me. All right, Martin. Let's do it. Wow. Hey, crispy. Oh, so good. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh. oh, damn it. That's excellent. Just saw a dude with a chop fingers on his VW Golf, and so I handed my. Uh, well, I can't show you because well, I just gave it away. It's gone now, but it was our, our new wrist strap. Our new wristy. He's just turned off, but um, yeah, just the handed one out the window. So that was you in the red Golf with the chop fingers. Hey, bro. All right. Well, thank you very much for um for coming with us on this BRZ journey, and um yeah, there'll be some mods and stuff happening with that. We got to explore some stuff and do some research, but thank you very much. No, we did research. What's that? No, like research in terms of like whether we can register it or not because we're meant to be able to register it as long as we get the receipts they have the we receipts need, but they're in queensland we need to do research it. on whether it will do a donut we, we've already done that research yeah but we need to do it again we've done a phd in that <laughs> phd stands for fat donut ph <laughs> uh, all right so um anyway we're off to um go and have a look at another car but apparently we've run out of youtube we've run out so, of space um, it's not so apparently we can't show you 